This week on Pop Fiction, Broadcasters, Beef, Bud, Forty, and Ralphie D recommends something cool. It's time to try. There well we done. Okay, this is 252 Pop Fiction, where you'll find all the news and reviews in pop culture that's right to type. Today's top story. E-40, legendary hip-hop artist from the Yay area, was expelled from the Golden One Center during Sacramento's <clears throat> during Sacramento's Warriors vs. Kings game won playoff. During Sacramento Kings. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm not going to say anything. You know what? Was there a video? <laughs> was there a video? <laughs> In a video depicting the argument between some King supporters and rapper E-40, also known as Earl Stevens, Damn. you can see the tense moments. Apparently there was some care in action in between E-40 yeah. and someone. And I know he was saying that he was saying that it was like some, I don't know if it was racial slurs or racially the motivated. The, I hope it the was. The issue started because E-40 wouldn't sit down. So the people behind him were telling him to sit down. Who and sits we, down at a basketball game? And security came over and said, hey, E-40, <laughs> you got to sit the, down. Everyone and he probably said, I played 3000 8000 10000 down. <laughs> so that's why they ejected him. Did he say that he'd go out there and shoot a free throw if he wants to? <laughs> <laughs> go out there and shoot a fucking three. Nah, man. It's E-40, not Ari Gold. Don Lemon, a longstanding host for CNN, has left the network. Oh, Sorry. no. The account. Uh, the announcement <laughs> shocked the media sector because it was unexpected. Fox News also disclosed that it has parted ways with right wing broadcaster Tucker Tucker Carlson. Yeah. So Tuck Tuck. So as I guess what happened with Tuck Tuck Tucker got Tuck fired. He quit. fired. Fired? Did he? Uh, you can And then like me. an hour I later, quit. Don Lemon. And it was kind of crazy because they both have very high ratings. They've been in their positions as broadcasters for a very long and time. And each one of their last interviews had some tense moments as well. And uh, yeah, you look on the internet, you can see it. But yeah, they both had a tense interview leading up to their final, you know, show. I don't even <laughs> think there was a farewell. It was just no, not they at were all. on. <laughs> I'll be back next week. <laughs> and then <laughs> and the, the, the network said, no, you ain't. <laughs> we'll see them on a website with 30 pounds heavier. Yeah. This week's review, Beef. A road rage incident involving two strangers devastates their lives as they try to one-up each other in the vengeance game. Yeah. Mm. I've heard this is good. Well, this is one of those where, um, I mean, I finished the, the, the whole Half thing. of it is good. Yeah, Ooh. so far. But that's and because I've only seen half. Oh. Well, I'd have to say it does escalate rather quickly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would you agree that it, 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 it goes from childish mm -hmm. prank to this is out of control? Well, no, I think it started off with a very serious prank. No yeah. spoilers. That's how no, Rage goes, though. Well, no, I think the first one, oh, that, that wasn't that serious. Th that wasn't serious? If it happens to you, is it serious? Well, I mean, I guess because I'm, <laughs> not, mean, I'm trying not, not to spoil happened. anything, but I feel like I the do. first the first bit of revenge is what the guy pretended to be like, like, hey, I'm working in the neighborhood and I see you had a little situation. You might want to. And then he said, can I use your bathroom? And then when he left, he left a surprise in the bathroom. And then he left a surprise in the bathroom. On the bathroom and leaking out of the bathroom. It was kind of like that moment that I had when I got oh, dined. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, we can't talk yeah, about okay. that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right. So, uh, recommended, I yeah, think? Yeah. I, so far, so good. I'll let you know uh, after I finish the rest. All yeah. right, I can't wait. This week, Ralphie D recommends Menace to Society, a timely recommendation. I believe you have to say that all as one word. Menace to Society. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Kane Lawson, 18, is looking for a way out of the Los Angeles Project's gang culture after growing up there. Everyone in his immediate vici vicinity, Vincent. Vincent. <laughs> Vincenity, especially his erratic companion O-Dog, is ensnared in their violent and criminal lives. Kane wants to permanently leave the city with the backing of his loving teacher and encouraging girlfriend. Don't forget about the grandparents. But Kane discovers that getting away won't be simple after a string of sad incidents. And, you know, and those, don't forget, there was Charles S. Dutton. But I guess he was yeah, the teacher. He was the teacher. Keisha. Yeah, nice size. <laughs> nice place. Keisha. A rock. Yeah. Original rock. Yeah, great stuff, man. That was an uh, awesome movie uh, depicting 
culture in Southern California. Ooh, boy. I feel like menace to society when it comes to those. It showed how to survive in late, South Central. Late mm. 80s, 90s hood <laughs> movies. Yeah, it's I classic. Think, I think it stands like top five, like shoulder to shoulder with uh, Boys in the Hood. Which, in my opinion, still is like the that's the pinnacle. That's the it. standard. Yeah, and not that too one, bad. And, As hood movies go, yeah, I mean the Oscar-winning uh, Boys in the Hood, yeah. <laughs> along with Don't Be a Menace to South, South Central while, while you're drinking your juice in the hood. Yeah, which yeah. uh, Skewers Life. You know what? I think I'm going to recommend that next week. I'm Ralph D. <laughs> that's news to me. I'm Cool Water Kurt. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. We'd still like to hear what you think. Leave us a comment down below and let your opinion be heard. And if you like this video, please check out other videos on our channel. And I'm J Big Tom. <laughs> and I like... No. Um, and <laughs> this is 252 Pop Fiction, where you hear it... First. It's the last. <laughs> it's like three weeks later. Ah, uh, uh, Donna, pull yourself together. Pull together. Pull together.